guys so i did another lush haul so while i was at trader joe's yesterday um which you'll see this in a couple days but when i went to trader joe's it's near lush so i hit lush because there were some things that i wanted to order and i went on the app and a lot of things are out of stock so unfortunately because of covid they're not able to keep up with the stock. I mean, a lot of things are out of stock. So when I went in for specific items, they weren't even there. But I got some nice alternatives. Um, uh, this I thought was discontinued, but they kept the mouthwash, the creme de menthe, which I, I love. I like the charcoal tooth tabs as well. And that one they're still carrying. They discontinued the other flavors that they had. And I believe... I remember seeing that this was supposed to be discontinued, but they didn't. And what's really cool about this, especially with traveling, you stick one in your mouth, you chew it, you add water, you swish it around, and it's mouthwash. So this is great to have, especially if you travel. Um, they gave me a sample of ocean salt scrub because there's a soap called sandstone. And I get that for John because he gets very dry skin, very flaky dry skin. And that's the only soap that they have that has sand in it, which helps him. Um, but they had no more of that. So she gave me a sample of ocean salt scrub for him to try. Um, this I've never tried before. Magical Moringa. Um, it's a beauty balm, but it mattifies and primes the skin with silky argan and moringa oil. So I'm all about the oil on the face um, to keep yourself moisturized. And this, because it's mattifying, although it still mattifies with oils, argan oil is supposed to be really good for your face, for your skin. Um, very comparable and, you know, doesn't cause breakouts. Now that we're going into the hotter months of the year, um, I saw not virgin, whatever that means. But now that we're coming into the hotter months of the year, um, I tend to get very oily skin on my face. Um, so I figured this, although you still should moisturize, even though it is hot outside, um, this is, uh, yeah, melt right into your face after cleansing. So I figured this would be good to have in the hotter months when I get really oily. So that'll help control the oil. Um, then I picked up this one. This was the last one, like literally the last one. It's a shower cream. So I was telling the lady, um, I had bought, um, Coco Loco, which I'll put a picture right here. So Coco Loco was some kind of naked shower conditioner, I think they called it. So after you showered, you rubbed it all over your body. So you came out moisturized, smelling like a delicious coconut and you, you know, towel dried and got dressed without having to add extra moisturizer. And I told her I loved it so much, but of course that's out of stock online and they didn't have it in the store. Um, so we were looking at shower creams and shower conditioners. So this one is made with a lot of oatmeal, lavender, and chamomile, and rose. So it smells delicious. But because of the oatmeal, it actually helps with itchy skin. She said a lot of people with eczema love this stuff. And I tend to have sensitive skin to the environment. Um, yeah, I kind of, you know, get these uh, weird patches of you know, rashes that come and just go. Um, I've been dealing with that for years, so never really targeted what it is, but I noticed um, it does happen more in the springtime. Oops, sorry. Spring and fall, which, you know, ragweed, I'm allergic to ragweed and I'm allergic to trees, grass, pollen, mold, I'm allergic to everything. Um, so I figured, ooh, I'm gonna give this a try. So this was the last jar in the store. 
And then Tingle, invigorating peppermint oil and menthol crystals energize skin with tingly excitement. So very, very minty. This also moisturizes your skin after you get out of the, uh, after you uh, cleanse. Um, spearmint with nourishing maru maru and shea butters to condition. So after you um, lather up and rinse off, put this on and rinse it and your skin will stay moisturized. But because of the peppermint oil, she's like, it's great when you feel a little sore and the peppermint just opens up your senses, probably clears out your sinuses and relieves that headache. So I'm going to give that a try. That sounds like it could be very popular. And then I wanted to try this. So now they didn't have any more angels on bare skin. And I still have some left, the Angels on Bare Skin um, Face and Body Cleanser. I only use it for the face. So Angels on Bare Skin has um, the almonds and it has clay. So it helps absorb some oil, but then the almonds actually add a natural oil to it and a gentle exfoliation. This one, Angel Dark Angels, let me open it for you. Ah, I didn't screw. Use my feet. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> that was embarrassing. So Angel Dark Angels is made with charcoal. And it has sugar in it. So it, it's a more abrasive exfoliation with the absorbing action of charcoal. Mm, it smells so good. I love, I mean, you know what? I, I smelled it through the mask, that store, when I walked in. Love that stuff. Um, so now that we're coming into hotter weather, this would be a good thing to wash my face with when I get really oily. Like when I go out in the garden and I'm sweating my butt off and I come in, this will be a nice thing to wash my face with to absorb all that oil. So I gave that a try. Then as soon as I walked in, they made me wash my hands and they gave me olive tree soap. And let me tell you, not only did it smell good and it obviously has a lot of olive oil in it, but after I washed my hands, my hands were so smooth, so silky from all that olive oil. Doesn't smell like olive oil, but it smells so good. I think it's the cypress oil that I'm smelling, but there is rose oil, olives, pettigrain oil, a little bit of lemon. Mm, smells so good, but yes, I was so surprised at how silky my hands uh, felt. So this might be one I might want to get a little more often. And then I got this soap, Sultana of Soap. I think it's the bergamot oil that I'm smelling in it because it smelled, oh my God, it smells so good. Almost a little powdery too, you know, like baby. Um, babies always smell good. So yeah, this one smells delicious. So I picked up a chunk of that. I'm like, I can't wait to take a bath. Okay, so now for the baggy things. I might need two hands to do these baggy things. So this one, because I started getting into bath, this one's called... Oh. What was this one called again? This one was called... I wrote it down. Sleepy. It's a sleepy tea... No, it's called Deep Sleep, sorry. So it's a the, the sleep bath bomb inside it, but they bagged it up in a Muslim bag because inside this one, oh, my cuticles are terrible. Don't look. This one um, has a lot of lavender leaves. Ooh, smells so good. So a lot of lavender leaves. So when you throw it in your bath, Obviously, the sodium bicarbonate parts of it will dissolve, but the lavender leaves will stay in the bag like a tea bag. And she says you can use it multiple times. Because I'm like, wouldn't it just all dissolve? And and she said, yeah, but you can actually, um, the leaves inside, the, the lavender leaves, you could use it multiple times. So I thought that was really cool. Can't wait to give that a try. And then this one, which is funny, all this stuff in a bag, not the cat, um, out of everything, it was this that I smelled in the car the entire time. 
This is called a bubble wand. And this one is called abracadabra. And I think it's the bergamot in this I smell too. And like lime, I think a little lime oil. And she says when you make the bath, you actually swirl this right under the um, faucet part while your water's streaming in and it'll create bubbles. And then you could take it out, leave it to dry and use it again. I'm like, ooh, you know, and then surprisingly when I went in, cause I was, I wanted to try new bath bombs or bubble bars. These one, this one, deep sleep, abracadabra. Let me leave that out. And this one, which I might need, where is it? Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Might need two hands for it. They only had three bubble, bu types of bubble bars, uh, bubble bombs or bath bombs left. Anything for the bath, they only had these three left. When you go online, there's like a slew of them, but they are literally down to three. You know, I really hope Lush will be okay after all this. So this one's called Nana. And obviously you could break it up. Oh my God, it smells so bad. It almost smells like suntan lotion. Um, so this one's called Nana. And it's a bubble bomb, bubble bar. So you could break it up, throw it in. It dissolves and makes all these bubbles. Um, this one has oats, they said, and cocoa, cocoa butter, almond oil, and um, banana oats. So it's supposed to smell like your grandmother's house when you throw it in, they said. But to me, it smells a little like suntan lotion. Smells so good. So that was the only three. So I was like, all right, give me one of each. Cause I, that was it. I didn't have a choice. Um, crazy what's going on. So what else do I have? I have a couple bags here. I just, yeah, I went in and went nuts. Cause I don't know when I'm going to be there again. So this one's called sleepy face. See, it's a sleepy face. And this one's a cleansing bar. So you massage it in your hands. Wipe it on your face, takes off makeup, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, take a washcloth, warm water, wipe it off. That's your cleanser. So you just oil cleanse your face. And this one has, I believe, lavender and chamomile. So it's very soothing for the face. Um, if you know, if you're sensitive, you know, irritation. Um, so and lavender is very healing. So if you have, you know, acne, that could help. Uh, soothe and uh, the irritated skin. So this also takes up makeup, take off, takes off makeup really well and it smells delicious. So I got that because I, like I said, I'm all about the oil. And then this one, oh, I forgot to look what this, uh, I'm going to have to get back to this one. But this one, I actually went in to get therapy or the scrubbies, um, the body massage bombs and none, zero left. So Again, no choice. This one smells really good. I got to look this one up. I forgot what it was. Okay. And then this one, which is, you can see it's oily. This is another oil cleanser. This one, which I smushed somehow. It's, ooh, smells so good. It's called teetotaler. So again, you massage this in your hand. You, look at that. It already gave me a little glistening. You massage it in your hands, rub it on your face, rub, rub, rub. Take a washcloth, warm water, wipe it off, clean. This one has tea tree oil in it. So when you do have irritations and you do have breakouts, the tea tree oil will also help, you know, um, um, kill the bacteria. So I like that for when I do have a breakout. And then these cute little things were called charity coins. And I don't know what they're made out of again, but they smell freaking delicious. Again, like a powdery smell. These were like $2 each. And I believe every time you buy one, that's why they call charity coins. They donate something to someone. And when I was in the car, I massaged a little on my hands and I uh, rubbed my hands in them. And it smelled so good and it smelled so good for hours. Um, love that stuff. That might actually be something I might carry around with me, like in an old Altoids container or something. And then, oh, this one I forgot to look up to. Another body. That one has like lemongrass to it. I smell it. And lemongrass is great for 
repelling mosquitoes. So, yeah, these are all the solid massage bars. So this one, I know what it is. This one's Rose Argan. So this is their solid of um, rose jam. So it has a lot of rose smell to it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And what I like to do with these, with all of these, I like to bring them in the shower with me, just like the shower conditioner. And after I cleanse and rinse off, I rub that all over my body and I leave the shower already moisturized. And so even though these are massage bars, um, I use them in the same fashion. I use it in the shower. I just find it easier. I'm all done. Dry, get dressed, and go. Let me look what these are. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry. Okay, so I looked it up. Sorry about that. This one's called Soft Cool. cool. Am I pronouncing it right? C-O-E-U-R. Cool. And this one is honey, shea butter, and cocoa butter. Smells delicious. And this one's called Each Peach and Two's a Pear. So it has peach, but what really stands out to me is the lemongrass. And like I said, lemongrass, you know, you find it in a lot of, you know, like that citronella. Um, I actually have this lotion that I, I don't remember where I got it from. But this lotion has lemongrass in it, and I put it on my legs when um, going out in the backyard or barbecues or whatever, and I don't get bitten. I put it on my legs and my arms, and I put it on the kids, and we don't get bitten, you know, so no spraying chemicals on us and stuff like that. Lemongrass actually repels the mosquitoes, and so this has lemongrass in it. So I want to, I bought two of them. There's another one in the bag because in the summer when I'm out gardening and stuff, that is what I'm going to be putting all over my body and it's going to keep the mosquitoes away. Um, natural, no chemicals. So, so that is my huge lush haul. Love this stuff. Uh, again, I went there with intentions of buying specific items like angels on bare skin, therapy, scrubby, um, maybe a new bath bomb or two, but, oh, and sandstone soap for my husband, but instead I got everything else, pretty much whatever they had left because they were running out of things. That was the last one of that. That was the last one. I mean, they were running low on everything. I mean, these were the only three bath bombs available. When you go online, everything is out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. It is insane. So I just can't wait for this all to be over with. So Lush can just pack it all in again. Um, love that store. Uh, the lady did say very soon here in Tennessee anyway, that they're going to be really opening up. So but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Lush haul as much as I did. Um, can't wait to take a bath. My room smells absolutely deliciously yummy. And I wish you can smell it because these I'm all about the scent. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. My bad. I forgot to show you this because this is so little. This one was called 7 to 3 Cleansing Pad. Um, there's talc in it. Cannellini beans. Ground cannellini beans. Um, flower absolutely lang lang oil and all this other yummy stuff so this was the last one of this too and I'm like what is that there was only one left come on oops there so it's an actual cleansing pad so I asked her I said is there like an actual like cotton pad in there and she said no this is all product so obviously this is held together with cannellini beans and she said I suggest you break it off because it will dissolve very quickly oh my god it smells delicious so it has the like um absorbing factors and it helps take off makeup so she said just break off a piece wet your face and rub it all over your face. It's going to take off your makeup. It's going to clean your face, um, soothe it. And, but it does dissolve. So she said you could probably get like five or six uses out of this one pad. And this was all that was left. So I was like, give it to me. I think it was like 375. I said, give it to me. I want to give that a try. So I'm going to give that a try. So that one was the seven to three cleansing pad.
I mean, it's amazing the things they have. I think that's so cool. So there you go.